Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome to tutorial number 12. And in this tutorial, we are still taking a look at setting up our website template. And the reason why we're doing that is because there is something I wanna show you guys in the UI kit customizer and it kind of deserved a tutorial all on its own because the UI kit customizer uh, is a little bit complicated to work through. But uh, before you guys <laughs> uh, quit this video and move on to the next video, I just wanna mention that uh, I'm going to make sure that the style.less file is available for all of you guys as well. So make sure that you uh, check the link in the video description below and you'll be able to download this less file and you can import this less file. So if you click import less, uh, you can then import the less file that I give you guys and it's gonna allow you to have some of the same styling that I set up for this video. Uh, but basically, uh, let's just take a walk through UI Kits customizer real quick. And um, yeah, when you first arrive here, you're probably gonna have this almost flat theme set. So you can see that all the corners of the buttons are rounded, etc. I don't want any of that. So if you go over to default, um, that's going to automatically uh, square off some of the corners for you. But there's still gonna be a few big differences because uh, your primary color is probably gonna be a very light blue, your green is gonna probably be a very different green, and so is the danger. So what I've done is if you, okay, if you uh, arrive on this theme or this uh, UI kit customizer, um, you're not gonna have this button ticked, which means there's gonna be a lot less options available for you, but if you tick advanced mode, you're gonna have a lot more options to play with. Uh, and some of those options have to do with background colors of buttons, so the primary button background color, etc. So what I did was I changed all of these colors to colors that I got from uh, this website, Material UI Colors. So this red is obviously this red over here, and that orange and the blue and so on are all the same oranges and blues and greens that I've put in over here. Now I have also changed those in a few other places. So not only under buttons, I've also changed them under the alerts. I've also changed them, if we go further down, under uh, this block color, make sure that this blue color has been changed to the blue that I'm using, the primary blue color. Uh, and then, yeah, a bunch of other places as well, like uh, this button section. So primary button hover, uh, that changes the color of the button as I hover over it. So you can see that the button, the color of this button changes as I hover over it. Um, and those are all colors that I got from this website as well. Uh, so if I hit more, I can get a darker blue or a lighter blue, depending on uh, if I want a darker or lighter shade of blue from this uh, palette, all right? Now, the next and probably the most important part of this tutorial is uh, the fact that I've changed the navigation, right? And the reason why I've changed the navigation and also these primary colors is to kind of keep up with what was going on in my design. So if I jump back over to Photoshop, this blue color of the buttons is kind of the same blue or it is actually the same blue that we have set up uh, in our customizer now. But if I go back over to my design, you can see that my navigation bar or my nav bar over here is white. When you guys first arrive to UI Kits Customizer, uh, your nav bar is probably gonna look a lot like this where it is uh, gray. You're not gonna want that. You're gonna want a white nav bar just like me. So under the default settings, this was also a gray nav bar before. What I had to do was uh, search nav bar, so I hit control F and I have a search going on up here in the top corner of my website. Um, and I searched for the nav bar, but there was a very specific nav bar option. So basically under this uh, nav bar header, this is where you wanna change some of your settings. So you wanna change the background of this to white, and that's gonna change the background of this entire nav bar to white. You're also gonna wanna change the hover color, on click color, and active color to white as well. If you don't do that, um, you're probably gonna land up having something like this. I don't know uh, if I'm gonna get this color right. Um, but yeah, okay, that's a little bit too light. F E F E F E. Nope, wow. Okay, let's make that F9, F9, F9. <laughs> Something like that, right? Uh, you can see that there is a slightly darker background color on this um, uh, menu item now, right? And that is because 
the default color is actually sort of gray color. Uh, and I just went ahead and changed all of these to white so that you know I can't see the difference here. And then I also click this little more button and I change the nav color. So when you first arrive here, it's just gonna be a sort of blank file with an at symbol. You wanna change that to your actual color that you wanna use for uh, when you hover over the menu item. And you can see that uh, basically what I've done here is I've put in a blue color. So as I hover over my menu items, the text changes to blue. If it's active, the text also changes to blue. And uh, that's kind of what I want to go for for my design. Uh, I don't think I actually indicated that here, but I do want these links to change blue if somebody hovers over them. So uh, yeah, that is pretty much most of the settings in our customizer talked over. But if you guys hit import less, you will be able to import this less file that I make available for download and you will have all the same colors that I do. Then when you leave this, you want to hit get CSS. You can also minify the CSS if you like, but hit get CSS and that's going to allow you to download your CSS. And you can take the CSS that you get downloaded, copy that over to your htdocs directory, put that in, you can put it in UIKit or you can put it in your own CSS file. Just make sure that wherever you put it, you remember and you use that exact link. So I think I'm gonna put it in UIKit's CSS and I'm gonna uh, paste that in here. Uh, oops, I've already got one called UIKit CSS. So let's keep both. Um, and this one that's called UIKit2.CSS, I'm actually going to rename that to UIKit custom theme. Dot CSS, and now I'm just gonna copy that entire name, go over to my template, and I'm gonna make sure that I've got that text saved, but I wanna copy this, paste that in here, and then I can go ahead and grab that link that I have saved from earlier and paste that in there. And now my custom theme is also linked in the header. So if I save this, and uh, I jump back over to the browser and refresh. I don't think anything's changed just yet, but uh, if, I, if I come back here and I add an extra class of UK button dash primary, my primary button should be the blue that I want it to be uh, and not a light blue that is a standard UI kit blue. It should be the dark blue that I chose for my customizer. Uh, so now I think our template has been set up correctly and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like and share this video because that's all gonna help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.